Good morning. Um, I started my career over 20 years ago working on Java app servers. Um, app servers provided a platform for developers to be able to focus on building and running their applications efficiently without having to solve all the kind of boring plumbing problems. And you might be saying, Jason, 20 years ago was a long time. Why are we talking about this? Well, I think today this community is actually solving many of the same problems, that platform challenge problem, but we're doing it together in the era of cloud. Now, any realistic application development project, uh, you have different requirements they have to meet. Um, some components of your application might be stateless web apps, some components are stateful databases, some components are more event-oriented, some require a lot of flexibility, and others are simple. And a good application platform allows you to handle all of these requirements together. Now, in the cloud-native space, We've been fundamentally focusing our efforts around three styles of applications on the platform that we have. 12-factor applications, functions and serverless, and containers. But so far, we've mostly been building these three stacks in independent ways. We've been building three independent, separate stacks to handle general purpose containers, to handle applications, and to handle functions. And by building them separately, we're forcing people to make choices. We're forcing developers to pick sides. We're making the environments more complex, and we're creating friction as developers try to mix these dissimilar styles together. Now, as a community, we've actually, over the last few years, made a lot of progress on joining forces and agreeing on some common elements in the Cloud Native stack. We've taken the best of our experience and code in a variety of projects and come together around the container engine with projects like Container D. We've come together with all of our learnings around orchestration and created this incredible phenomenon that Janet just talked about around Kubernetes. And we've had new things like service brokers and service meshes that we've kind of quickly come together and had a common understanding of the value of those things and some of the projects we want to work on together to make them part of the stack. So what's missing? What about apps and functions? How do we bring apps and functions into this common view of an application platform? Now, for apps, one of the most prominent projects in the application space is Cloud Foundry. Uh, Cloud Foundry uh, is already aligned around the container engine. Uh, Cloud Foundry pioneered the idea of service brokers, uh, something that we're all working on together in the Open Service Broker API project. Um, and is in the process of incorporating technologies like Istio and Envoy uh, into the design of the Cloud Foundry system. With new projects like Irene, we're able to bring Cloud Foundry even closer to Kubernetes and be able to leverage some of the underlying orchestration capabilities from Kubernetes in the application stack uh, that Cloud Foundry provides. I think what's missing for all of us is are we all aligned around how we do build and how a developer can go from source code to a running system uh, in a consistent way across these different environments. If you look at functions, the environment's even more fragmented. Every major cloud provider has their own function stack that they've delivered as a service on their cloud platform, whether it's IBM Cloud Functions, Lambda, or functions on Google and Azure. Um, if you look at the open source landscape, there's literally dozens of projects that are building serverless capabilities. Some of those are aligned around Kubernetes, some of them aren't. And that fragmentation, I think, uh, holds us all back from being able to really leverage uh, functions as part of the design of our applications. Now, how do we move forward from this point? Yesterday you heard about a project called Knative, and I think Knative is an important catalyst for helping us start to work together on bringing functions and applications into our common cloud native stack in uh, in a way that will allow us to really move forward uh, and collaborate together uh, around this common platform. Knative takes Kubernetes and teaches it how to deal with build, how to deal with serving of applications and functions and some of the unique requirements that we have in those styles around startup latency and scaling from nothing. Uh, and it allows us to have a common view of how events are passed into applications and defined in the system. And so I'm really excited about this journey that we're on to build a single unified platform for applications that supports general purpose container style, that supports functions, and that supports applications. So that developers can 
um, mix these technologies, leverage the best of those technologies without edges and without friction as they mix um, and solve the problems for the next 20 years of applications. Now at IBM, uh, we really believe in this vision. We're delivering these capabilities on our cloud, and we're actually using these capabilities deeply in our cloud. Uh, in IBM Cloud, we have a Kubernetes service called IKS. IKS provides the foundation of Kubernetes for our cloud, uh, both um, our public and private cloud environments. IKS is, of course, built on Kubernetes. It's built on solid networking foundations like Calico. It's built on Containerd. And on top of Kubernetes, we've been able to run a vast diversity of workloads. We're running Cloud Foundry, we're running our Watson AI platform, so machine learning and deep learning on Kubernetes, we're running stateful databases and data warehouse systems, we're running consumer-facing websites like weather.com, uh, we're running blockchain, uh, we're partnering with our uh, uh, partners in the monitoring space like Sysdig and the logging space like LogDNA, and we're running all of this diverse workload on a single platform, and I think that's incredibly powerful. So I'm excited to help make this vision a reality. I invite you to work with us and everyone else in the community to make this real and help us build the platform for the next 20 years. Thank you.